on the show. We're going to start it up. It's going to be very exciting. A lot of people are talking about this. Let's around the bag. I take a group of people, I ask them questions, and we become friends. Tell everybody all about you. Got out of the market with lemon juice, Philadelphia cream cheese. Question is, how do you like your eggs? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the tighter, the better. From your own daydreams and fantasies as well. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Around the Bag? Yes, damn right you are. Welcome to Around the Bag, my friends. My name is Ian Bag. We got a show for you tonight. We're going to bring them in. You know how it works. I ask questions from different ways. Three rounds of it, and by the end, I've got a new best friend. Let's bring my friends in right now. Here's Saka Moses Balloon added to the street. Right there. Here we go. Tony Sam. And then bring her in. What a great night. Let's get to introduce yourselves and get to know you. Santa. Can you tell us all about you? Sure, I can. Um, I'm originally from Chicago. I now live in LA. I know. Oh. I'm an actor. And mm. uh, given what's going on in the world, I'd say the role I'm practicing currently is Annette Benning on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Oh, so that's right. I like it. Well, welcome to the show. Tell everybody your website before we continue on. Oh, tell I your website. have a website of my own. Oh, I'm on, I know. It's like 1986 over here. So, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Santa Moses Mikan. I like it. Mikan. I said it wrong. I said McCann, didn't I? That's it's sorry. okay. I apologize. I apologize. When we're best I'm... friends, you'll pronounce it correctly. I can't wait until we're best friends. Tony I'm Sam, McCann. tell everybody all about you. Oh, hello. Talk about production value. Wow, this is something. <laughs> uh, hey, watch you back also... off. This is called a god. Damn internet show that most people. <laughs> wow. I uh, I am also from Chicago, oh, so double. half of the show. Oh, well, I mean, do 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 we do don't know do do do. Chicago. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a comedian. I mean, Spencer so yes, mm -hmm. I guess. Are any is anyone else a comedian anymore? Who knows? <laughs> uh, in the way we not we all lost our job. Uh, I write. Uh, I currently write for a show on the Discovery Channel called mm -hmm. Josh Tate Tonight. Oh, uh, I like which, uh, it. It's all right. It's all right. And I became a songwriter this year. Oh, congratulations. Is it out? Is it available? It is. The one song. I wrote a song for Shark Week. It's called uh, Oh No, It's a Shark Bite. It's a Shark Bite song. Oh, good for you. So uh, look for that wherever Shark Bite songs are sold. You work for Discovery. I seen a nice video today of a uh, alligator in Australia uh, chasing a boat, and it is the mo. It is what nightmares are made of. It's like about twelve feet long, and it's keeping up with the boat with no problem. You will see that and write a new song called "I'm Gonna Die." I'm gonna uh, die. Oh yeah, we uh, at Discovery they've got a whole warehouse full of clips like that. Just God damn, gotta, just coming out of their a hole, really. Oh, uh, do you mind watching your language on the show? Thank you for coming, Tony. <laughs> Brent Moran, tell us all about you. Oh, I'm Brent. Uh, I'm from Connecticut. I'm a comedian, actor, writer, uh, mm. and I guess a podcaster because, like Tony said, I don't know if stand up exists anymore. So I think now I've just kind of really weighed into this uh, Lion's Den. I, I host a show called the Lion's Den podcast with uh, the beautiful Jason Collings oh, and uh, a failed NBA yeah. basketball player. Well, wanted to be. I was never gonna make it. But what I'm age? Gonna... What age did you realize you're failed? Mm, seven. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's seven. a good age. That's a good age yeah. to really get the uh, the uh, seriousness in. I was about nine when I realized I wasn't making the NHL and started oh, yeah. going. Yeah. I still root and act like I do play for the team, though. I yell at my TV a lot. Good for you. Yeah. I you played softball once, and I was so bad. The coach told me just not to swing. He said, your strike zone is so small, you're better off just standing there. Oh, my God. That's, really <laughs> that's my athletic background. That's a very sexual thing. You all know, said there. No swinging, and, no swinging in a very small strike zone. Very sexual. Thank you for coming to the show, Brent Moran. Let's start it up right now. Oh, I went all fuzzy there. That's crazy. There we go. That is awesome. I like that. Here's the first question of the night, my friends. I'm going to start it out right now. The question is, what's your favorite cereal? Let's start out with you, Tony Sam. Tell us about your favorite cereal. Well, oh, boy, I mean, well, currently, I mean, listen, uh, Tony's not getting any younger, so Tony's been eating a lot of granola right now, uh, <laughs> just to keep just to keep the trains moving, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, if I had to pick a sweet, sugary, silly, stupid cereal, uh, every time, I would probably go uh, with I love Raisin Bran. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they just cover raisins in sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it looks ridiculous because it's like, why is this white shit all over my 
my <laughs> cereal, is it gone bad? I don't no, know. No, raisins good. don't go bad. They're actually grapes that went bad. They can't go bad. Also, They're already bad. Uh, honor, Come on. Honorable mention to uh, Sugar Smacks. Or honey oh. sm sugar smacks, right? Sugar smacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, very <laughs> nice. I asked for one. You gave me three. Let me know about it all. Like it. Santa, tell us about your favorite. Story. I love Lucky Charms. I love uh -huh. Lucky Charms. And they uh -huh. just recently started selling the marshmallows separately, which I think is kind of a game changer. Oh, my so, God. Yeah, but currently, like Tony, I'm old. So uh -huh. I eat Kashi Goleen. But that'll oh. pass, and I'll get back to sugar. Well, you look fantastic. It must be the Kashi that is keeping you way younger than Tony. I had no idea you're the same age as Tony. You look fantastic. Fuck that guy. Brent, what's your favorite cereal? Oh, that's tough for me. I mean, I used to eat a box a day. Oh, no wonder kid. you didn't make the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's when I found out I was not going to make it. So I said, you know what? I might as well lean into this this sugar high. Yeah. Uh, what's your feeling? I'm a captain kid. You know, Captain Crunch, uh, ah. peanut butter crunch, anything uh -huh. that hurts the roof of my mouth. But I'd go through a box. So right now... I just I don't eat cereal because if I do, I'll eat the whole box like honey bunches. Oh, it's all gone. I can't help it. I like it. Good. Good for you. You just could take over the cereal. Jenny just thrown out there. The marshmallows are getting bigger, too. Oh, they are. Is that true? I don't I know. I thought they were smaller. I, I, I added a new marshmallow and then they're getting bigger and now they're being sold separately. It's a whole. Maybe, it's, maybe it's just because I grew up and when I was little, they looked so big. And That's now right. I'm a, I'm a grown right. person. I shouldn't be eating it. Just like the urinals at school. They got smaller. <laughs> Let me tell you, they weren't that they got smaller. I'm going to give Brent 100 points. I'm going to give Santa 100 points. And I'm going to give Tony 100 points. It's a nice. very tight game so far. It's oh, no, anybody's game. game. Oh, it's anybody's game. That is fantastic. Guys, here's my next question for you. Here's my next question. If you couldn't live in the Los Angeles area and you had to live someplace else, where would you live? Where would you move to? Let's start out with Brent. I went last with Brent last time. He's going first this time. Man. Man, I don't know. Part of me thinks about like going back to New England. That's where Ooh, I'm from. But nice, uh, I could also see myself kind of just letting my, you know, letting myself go wearing silk robes and living in like Monaco and a little hut house oh. with a mustache and just kind of like the uncle everybody knows on the boardwalk. Do they have boardwalks? I don't know. I'm not cultured. But you, I you've got to have a mustache in Monaco. Yeah, I read yeah. that. Got it, got it. Got it. Always. And you don't have to buy socks anymore. It's one of those places you don't have to wear no, socks. Chew gum for no reason all the time. Good for oh, you. I'm chewing gum. That's Santa, great. where would you yeah. live if you couldn't live on the old Los Angeles area? Well, I'm kind of in love with Italy, so I'd probably live in Tuscany somewhere. Ah, that was a good one. Yeah, in oh. fact, Tony suggested that we buy a place together, so this could actually happen. Ooh, yeah, funny. you stole my answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. This is competitive. This is competitive. Oh my God! Sounds like you, um, you guys seem to like have something going on. I don't. I don't even think I've got a chance of getting a new best friend out of this. You two might just end up leaving your spouses, and getting a place in Italy. Uh, Tony, where do you think you'll live? Well. I did give her the idea. I thought I said we uh, we should all go in on a like a a, a house that we could all die in when we're old. Oh, come on, villa. Call it villa. Uh, but I would I would actually go even further south to Sicily, uh, mm -hmm. on the north the north coast of Sicily, like uh, Cefalu or mm -hmm. Palermo. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I couldn't live there, it would be uh, in uh, Cane, Australia. Uh -huh. The Great Barrier Reef. Very oh, wow. good. Nice answers by everybody, but it's wrong. The answer was Reno. The answer oh. was Reno, oh, Nevada. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I know. It's zero My points for it. matches Reno. It would work over in Reno, the silk robe and the mustache. Oh, and yes, it would. It would yeah. definitely. You could definitely drive a Cadillac around there, and nobody questioned that. My oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Here comes the next question. Right now, here's the question. How many seasons should a show really be? A TV show. They seem to go either too short or too long. I think they should only be a certain amount. How many seasons do you think a TV show should be? Let's go with Tony Sam on this one. I'm going to say five. Five. Oh, good anything oh past five, it, it usually uh, they add all these weird characters nobody likes. Mm -hmm. uh, the story just goes off the rail. I mean, that's sort of the, the term jump the shark. I'm sure it's because it came in season six. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm certain of it. I'm almost certain. Uh, Netflix thinks that it should be two seasons, but they're wrong if the show is good. Undateable should have been 20 seasons. Just yeah. put that out there. Well, Sarah Newberger. I, I agree, especially right now. 
Something nice was being said, but then I turned around and said, ah, fuck you. It needed to be at least a two more seasons. I'll tell you that. Brad, how many seasons should it be? I actually agree. I agree with Tony. I actually think five. I think six always takes a dip in some of my favorite shows. And that rhymes, so Thank that counts. You, but mm -hmm. uh, but if I am on it and, you know, just find yeah. I've been thinking about finances a lot. I, I'd say, you know, 20. 20, yeah. 20 seasons. I don't care at that point. I could have some ghost child from Mars at that point, even if it's like, how did that happen? Who knows? It's back in time now. It's yeah. very true. If you're on it, is a different answer. Right. If you're watching it, that is definitely there are two different answers. My yeah, goodness. <laughs> Santa, how many seasons? I like go four. I like four. four seasons because I feel like you should leave them wanting more. And five, like. I don't know. Well, let me be more specific. I think it should be four well thought out seasons. Oh. Like, let's not start season one and then not know where we're going. You know, mm -hmm. so four. You know, well this isn't the Price is Right Santa. You you could have gone over. I underbid you. Underbid me. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. That's true, and 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 it and it doesn't work like the Price is Right. So that was a very nice Santa. I'm going to give you five hundred thousand for that. Tony, you're going to get oh. six thousand. Uh, Brent, you uh, <laughs> you wanted more seasons. Of your what the hell? I'll give you one hundred and seventy-five thousand. Ten to kick it ass so far. This game is really, really. Is that real money. Exciting. I need it. By the way, oh, I like Carrie. No. I like Carrie's answer right here. She said, uh, or he said, he said, just do what the UK does: six episodes per season. Then it doesn't matter, right? You go way more seasons. Yeah, Good answer yeah. right there. Bro, you uh, do. You I'm, pay your I'm mortgage losing. on these episodes. I'm losing. You are losing, Tony. <laughs> you should write this in your diary and don't get down on yourself. But you're losing right now. But there's a chance you might come back. Who knows? This is the Dear way. diary. <laughs> Dear diary. Use your big pencil on this. Yeah, that was good. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Prop work right away. Ah, I didn't know we could bring props. I feel ill prepared. I know. I would have brought my Speaking Muppet. of props, how about this? Who can you do an impression of? And I'd like oh. you to do it right now. Let's start out with you, Tony. Oh, come on. Uh, I can do an impression of this guy I worked with 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. That, I'll take uh, it. Then you'll just have to trust me that it's really good. Okay. He uh, he was from the uh, somewhere around Kentucky, uh, but he always like, "Hey Tony, <laughs> uh, you want to come walk around Possum Bottom with old Rod?" <laughs> I mean, if you if you met him, you'd oh be like, God. "Is he in the room?" Yeah, I, I you know I, I I've heard about him, and I think you're doing a very good impression of him right now, and your description, fantastic, Santa. <laughs> I'm crap at impressions. Uh, okay, so there was a cartoon a yes. long time ago. Hello, my name is the Shmoo. The Shmoo? That's it. That's all I've got. It was, I think it was like Very a... Very good. Scooby-Doo adjacent Yeah, yeah, cartoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. I'll tell you what. I like I'm never... I like that a lot. And it was on TV, unlike Tony, just doing a guy from work. <laughs> right. Who even knows that guy exists? Right. Yeah, who knows? He could be fucking. He lying. does exist. He's like Santa. You have to believe. No, no. I'll just throw you on mute, Tony. If you keep lying like that, Brent. Oh man, I'm terrible at impressions. I'm so bad. Are you? That's okay. Uh, I, I don't know if you heard Tony. <laughs> maybe I could do, I'm more. You know, I have an act. Maybe I could do a little, like maybe Bill Burr. I maybe I could do a little Bill. I think. Okay. You know, ah, you fucking whores. All of. <laughs> We don't even know. That's what do you great. mean? That, you know that. Crap. <laughs> That's really crap. good. That's yeah. really good. That my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to say it. Santa and you are tied for uh, 1,585 points. Tony, on the other hand, uh, 25,000 points. He did a perfect impression of that guy I used to work with that I heard all about. You're fantastic. I love it. But you guys did real people. He did somebody fake. That is yeah. bullshit right there, but he gets more points. Yeah. I believe he exists. Well, it just, he's, he's, he's real. <laughs> we worked in a bakery together. <laughs> Nobody wants to get anybody else to walk around Possum Lake. That's not where you go for a walk. Possum Bottom. Like Possum Bottom. Oh, Possum. my God. That was my that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Possum Bottom. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Here's a nice question. We're almost at the end of this section. And then I'm going to bring in the video question of the week. So, but first, here's this question. How do you deal with stress? We've all got it. We all have to learn how to deal with it. I want to know how you're dealing with stress. How do you deal with stress, Brent? Uh, the same way that all my aunts and uncles do, drinking. Drinking. <laughs> Very good. I take a page right out of my Uncle Derwood's book, and you just, you know, pound it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's very uh -huh. impressive. 
And by the way, uh, apparently my wife is uh, either one of your aunt or uncles because she is a fucking drinker. I'll tell you that. She is a drinker. She loves to get Holy hammered. That's how she's dealing with her stress. By the way, i got to tell Cody, I get it. I'm having problems with my green screen and I'm all blurry. <laughs> Fuck off. Quit bringing it up. Jesus I actually Christ. thought you just had a really good view for oh, a second. Yeah. I do have a good view, but I can't see it because of the sun. Fuck, it's all bullshit. And this goddamn kid, Cody Bear, he's got a fucking, he never mentions anything good. Always complain about the shit. God damn it. I hope he gets hit by it. A fucking truck. He is hey, part of the simulation. This is a glitch in the simulation. <laughs> That's know. right. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> uh, I'm a glitch. I'm a glitch. Uh, uh, Tony, how do you deal with the stress? Brand gets all liquored up, but how do you deal with the stress? Uh, I I like to go on walks. I, I've walked uh, I've walked more. Um, I know every square inch of my neighborhood. I never thought I would say that, but I, you know, exercise huh. is is the key to kind of just getting out that stress. I, I, I used to think it was drinking, but then <laughs> that made me usually feel worse. So, yeah. uh, it's I, uh, it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> yeah. It is cycle. Right. Uh, different I, different kind of cycling. The devil gives the devil takes. I, uh, yeah, I, I would say I go on these, uh, I go on these walks around the neighborhood and, uh, I usually come back feeling a okay. Spanking it twice. <laughs> Way to go, Jimmy Munster. Way to go. Jimmy Munster. a little old to be spanking it 24-7. He's more Jimmy like a 7, to, 7 24. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he didn't think we heard him when he said masturbation 24-7 earlier. <laughs> You just I want to make sure we do. Uh, I think he's Cody's uncle. God damn it! Just to bring it up. Just by blocking the haters and the douchebags. What, what? If you're the if you're the if you're the douchebag and the hater, you can't be blocking. I'm telling you that. No, right no, now, Cody. Ian. It's a it's a deuce. It's a deuce bag. It's a deuce bag. A double Dude. bagger. Dude. A double Dude. bagger. <laughs> Santa, how do you deal with the stress? The other two are walking and all liquored up. What are you up to? I, I know. Uh, home improvement. Home I, improvement. Yes. I, I paint things and I move things. With quarantine, it's been moving furniture from one room to the next. Oh. And my dog is traumatized because I think he's really scared that I'm going to move him. Oh, so, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I just, I, I like tools. <laughs> I just, I like to crank it up. I can't <laughs> tell it seems like a radio and it can't <laughs> out like foot loose. <laughs> I like to, uh... I gotta be honest with you, he made me laugh. Santa, Santa, was, Santa was, Santa was uh, fixing up her place and that guy was crank it up. I, love it. I mean, he, he's probably working on his place too. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, in a completely different way. That. I, I love that you're doing home improvement. That is fantastic. Just doing the home improvement. No, you I, have you gotten to a place where you're you're happy with it, or do you just keep no, going? No, no, it just keeps going. Like you finish one room, and then like a year yeah. later, you do it again. It's a constant. Yeah, it's yeah, a vicious yeah, cycle. It sounds like Brent. Brent might be able to help you out there. He drinks. He could probably tell you how. Yeah, different. I love to move furniture when I drink. It really <laughs> shocked me the next morning. <laughs> I go, whoa! I got a fork. It's like a whole new house every day. <laughs> what did Brent How, do? What crazy Brent do last night? Oh, that's boy. funny. How nice hammered job. was Brent last night? He built a fort on both sides of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and he dug, a, he dug a hole in his front lawn. What's going uh, on with him? Guys, I apologize. Mike, apparently, according to Cody, my green screen's all fucked up, and I didn't know. I apologize. Fuck you, green Cody. Green screen you seems up. fine. You see uh, pixels. Come on, Cody. <laughs> hey, guys, I got to give some points away. I'm going to give 2,400 to Sam. Go over a walk. 2,400 block. Santa, just changing things around. I'm going to go, mm, I would say she's got about $12,000 worth of credit nice. from Lowe's right now. Brent, he likes to do it. He likes to do a 24 pack. We'll give him 24 times 40%. 24 times 40%. I think that's oh. about, I don't know, what the hell, 100,000. a hole with that. I can't do the math. I can't do the math. This is crazy. Oh, hey, hold on. Daniel, uh, Daniel Giles is getting up. What digital demon is back? He's fucking just annoyed with his internet tonight. So fuck you all. God damn it, you people. Why you got to listen to me? You think I like this? I apologize. I'm trying to fucking, Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, it's time for video question of the week. You getting ready for it? And here it goes. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Here comes a video question. A uh, video question comes from Internet Batman tonight. Here it comes. Oh. Hi, Ian. Internet Batman here. Uh, my question for the guests today is, what bothers you more? Ugly feet or really bad teeth? Which bothers you more? And proving a point, most of our viewers are special needs. Hey guys, uh, the question was from Internet Batman, what bothers you more? Ugly feet or ugly teeth? 
Ugly feet or ugly teeth? Let's start out with Santa. Ugly teeth, because feet you ugly. can hide. I don't have to look at them, but teeth I'm going to see. So I got to go teeth. She doesn't like the teeth. She doesn't like the bad teeth. Tony? Yeah, you know, I guess you could, I guess the teeth, right? Because you could do something about that right away. And then yeah. it wouldn't even be a problem. You, I didn't, you, can you get new feet? No. I don't think you can get new feet. You take them off, right? You can take them right <laughs> off. Get rid of them. You get rid of them. And then you can, you, no, you get yeah. them taken off. You get them taken off, and then you got a better chance to go to the Olympics. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. this is a, this hits home for me because you know I don't have the straightest teeth. When I like bite into a styrofoam cup, it, it kind of looks like a rickety old picket fence. You know, you ever bite yeah. into a, a yeah? No, so no this problem, was, right I eat a lot of styrofoam. I was given I was given a choice when I was a kid: glasses or braces, and I uh, I chose the gift of sight. Oh my God! So oh, you God. thought the glasses were going to come off? <laughs> what did you say, Brandon? I apologize. What did you, you say? Your choice. Look, you're going to be blind as shit, or you get your teeth fixed. We're up to a bolt. That's what I say. We didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> like, what's it going to be? <laughs> that is the most American thing I've ever heard. We've got to make a choice. You or your brother? <laughs> we can't. Your brother gets it. teeth. You get glasses. <laughs> Brent, which bothers you more, bad teeth or bad feet? Well, to be honest, I'm not. I'm not a big feet guy. Uh, Bad teeth doesn't bother me. I used to have a thing for Patricia Arquette because I liked her kind of snaggle tooth, uh -huh. you know, and like Kate Moss too. Like sometimes mm. it could be kind of a nice characteristic. And and like mm. Tony, I never, mm. I skipped the braces because I thought it would affect me with girls, which still didn't work. I should have gotten braces. Oh. And Jason Collins calls my bottom teeth uh, a haunted graveyard. So, Ooh. yeah, which thanks, Jay. I only, only have to think about that when I'm what a sweet man. building forts, looking in the mirror. Right. <laughs> I, I feel I just want to like give Brent a hug because I feel his pain. <laughs> but I That's sometimes a, it can be really cute and charming on a girl. I can deal with that. I, I haven't yeah. done this. I've done this show for a while. I've never had anybody feel bad for the other contestant. That's, 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 <laughs> that's one of my whole act. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody give him a hug. He's got horrible teeth, and that's from the guy that's biting into styrofoam cups. Oh, <laughs> I love the taste. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give points away right now. I'm going to give 2,400 to Tony Sam, 2,400 to Santa, 2,400 to Brent because everybody is perfect in my books. Fantastic. That was a good round. By the way, guys, that round was brought to you by Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, the best arm oh, yeah. since hockey since 1987. Wayne Gretzky, proud sponsor of Around the Bag. Let's continue on. It's round two, guys. Round two is called Pick It. I'm going to give you the options. That's right. I'm going to offer you two things, and you have to pick one. We'll start at Santa, then we'll go to Tony, and then we'll go to Brent. And then we'll do that as many rounds as I feel like doing it. Get ready. Here we go. Santa, yes. Gatorade, or Powerade? Ooh, Gatorade. Oh, Purple Gatorade. Gatorade. Mm -hmm. Very nice answer. Uh, Tony, cardio or strength? Well, if I if I'm going from a personal uh, preference, I guess and history, I would say strength. I my body is not uh, body built for cardio. Usually, I, it takes like a, a couple rounds of this like, before people start having a nervous breakdown. But you just went for it right away, Tony. It just just <laughs> fell apart. That is awesome. Good answer. He's going with strength. A break. Go for a walk and come back. <laughs> I know. Aerobic or anaerobic? What the hell is what? Aerobic <laughs> or anaerobic? Aerobic. I don't aerobic. know. Aerobic. Fantastic. <laughs> Tony out front for just falling down every stair on that question. Santa in second place. Brandon in third place for yelling at me. What? What the hell? What the goddamn son of a bitch? Right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Round. Here we go. Santa, pool or air conditioning? Oh, air conditioning. I hate the fucking pool. I hate the fucking pool. And she points to yeah. the back like she has one. That is fantastic. Oh. Tony. Hotel or motel? Hotel. Motel, motel. holiday mm. Motels have bugs. Motels have bugs. <laughs> motels have bad bugs. Brent, California King or King? Oh, California King if I have the option. Oh, yes, get that extra couple inches. That's what I always say. Yeah, That's I roll around. Life. Good for you. Ah, Santa out front playing Jerry right there. You're in front on that one. You're winning on that one because you pointed at your pool in the backyard. Oh, no. fucking like he lives in a manor now. Yeah. Right. Right. Brent, second place for getting a second. And then Tony, third place. Third place for yelling and motels for having roaches. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Here we go. Here it comes. Santa, eight or nine? Eight. Mm. That was easy. My birthday's August 8th. 
Okay, I'm throwing this. I apologize. Tony, nine or ten? Ten. Ten, of course. Brent, ninety-nine or eleven? Uh, eleven. Eleven. That's right, mm. Brent Morat. Guess the first place. That is Mark Messier's numbers. Good yeah. answer, right there. And second place, just missed your birthday. Tony, apologize. Third place. Uh, you know, oh, but you know, you got lots of people to catch up. Good for you. Uh, don't feel bad for anybody on this. this. Is, I'm the one this that's fading away. This is <laughs> I'm the one that's fading away like I'm in Back to the Future over here. God oh, damn Tony, here Bear, Tony Bear 87 said 10, but they changed their mind. They didn't know. They said 9, 10, and 90. Cody Bear is out of his mind. Jimmy Monster says 17. Not even paying 18. attention. Here we go. Santa. Yes. Army or Navy? Ooh, Navy. Ooh, doesn't like yeah, the pool, but she likes the ocean. I do like nice. the navy. Yeah. Tony, police or sheriff? The police or sheriff? Should I say neither? <laughs> you can. You can. Uh, we'll say sheriff because the word police isn't in it. Oh, very nice. Uh, Brent, <laughs> fireman or paramedic? What you said, fireman or paramedic? Fireman or paramedic? Oh man, fireman. All right, man, that's all right, right there. Good for you. Tony getting out first place because he said, no way, neither. Brent tied with Santa. Not Brent tied with Santa. Uh, he likes to wash the trucks, and Santa loves the ocean. Here we go. And <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Brent or yeah. Tony? Ooh. Oh, this is hard. That's why I say it. See, Tony knows where I live, so if I don't say him, this that's could right. get bad. It already is. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to have to go T-Bone just because, you know. T-Bone. That's your connection, isn't it? Sam, baby. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Brent. Apologize. Probably your oh, bottom teeth. Right. That's probably right. what held you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drinking and building forts and digging holes. <laughs> Tony, Santa, or Brent? Well, let's see. This is a really tough one. Uh, sure is, T-Bone. I mean, she knows where I live. And, uh, <laughs> can't have to go with Santa. What? I'm going to go with Santa. My God. Brent. Do you, Lotus, get your own answers. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Quit copying off of people. Brent, Tony, or Santa? I'm only going to say Santa because I have to see this manner with well, the way she she like gestured towards the pool. <laughs> I'm just curious what's going on. Like, is it a water like, Waterfall? Little, yeah. I got to be yeah. friends with more rich people. Like I said, I'm hemorrhaging money. So I got to really <laughs> step it up. Such a good description of what's going on right now. Such a good description. And with that description, first place, Brent. Second place, Santa. Third place, Tony. Copying off of Santa. Please don't copy off of Santa. No. Nope. Here we go. Here's Fair the last one. Get ready, Santa. Get ready. College or university? Mm. Oh, well, university sounds fancy. It sure is. And like British. So I'm mm. going to say university. Good for you. <laughs> it also is in Kentucky. So it's not that fancy. Wow. Tony. Mac or PC? <gasps> Mac. Oh, oh very good. Boy. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a good chance of you winning this one after I was <laughs> And then Brent. Brent. Yeah. Mm. Cantaloupe <laughs> or honeydew? Ugh. Um, <laughs> cantaloupe, I guess. My grandma used to have that around. Oh, cantaloupe. So grandma annoying. used to have oh, That is fantastic. Tony out so front. Annoying. Brent second place. Santa. Third place oh. going to university, all special. The winner on that one is everybody. I don't know if you heard those answers. Those were fucking great. Uh, and then Kim Meyer out of no place. <laughs> Fuck Mac. I've never heard anybody that, that mad before at a Mac before. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. It's a lot of That's passion. Oh, Maybe she thought Mac truck. That's what I was going to say. She is from Canada, so she might be thinking I'm talking Mac trucks. She might be or macaroni and cheese. Yeah. No, no, not Mac macaroni and cheese. Nobody was ever said like, fuck, fuck macaroni and cheese. Uh -huh. I miss Mac, but I hate him. Mm. Miss Mac, god damn it. There we go. Hey guys, it's time for our last round. The last round is gonna be very exciting. Oh. That last round that we just did was brought to you by Wayne Gretzky, the sexiest man on ice since God, he's like, he's got those damn beautiful woman. He's gorgeous. And I dare you to be half bone sitting up on an ice. Anyways, let's continue on to the okay. last round. Here we go. This is gonna get exciting. This is trivia. First oh. question will be Santa versus Brent. Santa oh versus Brent on this one. The first one to answer the question, just say it out loud and get it right, gets the point. Get ready. These questions are very, very exciting for me to write down every day. You guys are going to you probably enjoy it. First one to say the question right out loud, not in your head. No. 
wins the point. And by the way, you can yeah. you can use your internet if you need to. <laughs> Here we go. What year were the first Air Jordans released? Ninety-three. Uh, no, no, no. No. Eighty-nine. So close. Eighty-eight. No, wait a minute. Ninety. No, Eighty-six. I'm just so close. Just a little. Hair. Maybe a couple more. Five. Eighty-seven. Just a little. One more. Eighty-eight. Eighty-four. That is right. Fantastic. That is a good point. Oh God. God. How do I not know that? Oh my, God. my life title. Chicago. That was disappointing. Uh, Oh, yeah. All right, hold on just a second. And it's a uh, hey from uh, Abby and Tom in Chicago. Oh, that's other fantastic. Hey. Oh. Yeah. That was a weird time. I'm bringing up the I'm bringing up the Air Jordans, and uh, people from Chicago are saying hi. That is that's very interesting. Uh, Santa, you're gonna go against Tony. Just to let you know on this one, you're gonna go against Tony. Brent has got one point already. He is leading so far. Good chance of him becoming uh, my best friend for the week. I can't <laughs> guarantee it, but the good chance he's gonna be. Right, you got no question. I'm hanging. First one to answer this question out loud, right? Get to the point. Get ready. Kingston, Zuma, and Apollo are the sons of which female pop star? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Stefani? Oh, Santa coming flying out of the what? corner. Just really? punches Tony right in the dick. <laughs> oh, that, that is fantastic. What, can I ask you, what name gave it away to you? Um, that was the only pop star that came into my head. Oh, are you <laughs> serious? What the hell? When I, I seen like, that, you, when I seen that, I was like, this thinking? is a I wouldn't be proud of that, first of all. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious, though, Tony. If I didn't know where you went, Gwen Stefani. It's like, yeah. oh, I know. Oh, if I'm a huge Gwen Stefani fan. I'll tell you what's not to be proud of. Having zero points, well, Santa has one and Brent has one. That's why you shouldn't be proud of oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, I I get the next question. <laughs> Tony versus Brent on this one. Tony versus Brent. Brent has one point. Gwen Stefani. Zero. <laughs> so close. Can't steal my answers, Tony. Yeah, you tell him, girl. I did. Uh, just to let you speak. Johnny Spacewood it's says it's rigged. Clearly. Uh, just to let you Johnny <laughs> Spacewood. Clearly. Here comes the question. Get ready for it, everybody at home. Be ready to. That's right, Kim, 1984. Uh, <laughs> question between Tony and Brent. First one to answer it out loud gets the point. Get ready. Here we go. Which country consumes the most chocolate? Uh, Belgium. Belgium. Close. <laughs> Close. France. Switzerland. Ah, Brent getting one point is running by <laughs> flicking Tony right in the goddamn dick, taking the points away from him. That See, I do it like I do Jeopardy. I just yell shit out before I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> it startles people. It, yeah. comes it's out, it's okay. Very impressive. I'm going to be 87, honest. 86, 85, I, I 84. Crumble under pressure. I you crumble. are crumbling. You're falling apart like one of Jay Leno's garages. Brent, you've got two points. Santa, you've got one point. Tony, all zero. Uh, oh. By the way, the loser becomes Cody Bear's best friend for the week. I want to pick up. <laughs> oh, no. Step it up, Tony. Uh, <laughs> this is between all of you. This is between all of you. This is between Santa, Tony, and Brent. That's what around it is. Here comes the question. First one to yell it out and get it right. Gets the point. Here comes the question. Which of Shakespeare's plays was his longest? Uh, what to do about uh, nothing? No. King Lear. Uh, 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 Macbeth. What town do I live in? I live in a Long Beach. Long Beach. But it's a <laughs> Oh, you live on a peninsula. No, it's a live on a bay. Port. Oh, it's a <laughs> Midsummer Night Dream. God damn, it's a fucking Hamlet. That's what it is. Right Hamlet. There. Oh, Hamlet? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm just yelling shit out. Who refers to Long Beach as a Hamlet? Yeah, what are you talking about? A Hamlet? It's a town. A town is a Hamlet. That's why I said it. I live in. A I never town. knew that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I'm calling BS on that. We're Americans. Zero points for everybody on that one. Zero <laughs> points for everybody on that one. That's the uh, kind of question I wish I got right away because you guys would leave going, "Wow, he's he knows things." That guy's an actor. He's not going to have an out rent. No, so. I ran out of plays to be honest. Right, just start drinking. It'll get better. It was very oh, impressive that you guys, started, <laughs> you guys yelled out everything but Hamlet. That was what was impressive about it. I was like, well, you threw us off the so point at Long Beach. I was like, what the hell? No, I was yeah, like, wondering even, what the hell Long Beach was. That. I don't know why I'm arguing with you guys. I'm the, I'm the one that's in charge. I have no idea why I'm arguing. Let me check with the judges. Was I right on that? Yes, the judges say I was correct on that. Just I don't think Alex you know. Jack ever went. It's fucking Hamlet. Right. <laughs> Hamlet. He's not here right now. Here comes the question. This is between all three of you. The uh, winner of this one will go into the finals. Get ready for this one. The finals will be against everybody. <laughs> <laughs> who is, what is, sorry, not who is, uh, everybody stop. What is the tallest dog breed in the world? 
Great Dane. Great Dane. Great Dane. Tony Sam gets a point. Wow. Nobody was expecting it. He thought for sure he'd yell out Poodle, but he didn't. He yelled out Great Dane. I had Labradoodle Dane. in my head for some reason. Labradoodle? My God. No idea why. Oh, yeah. I'm I couldn't stop thinking it. about a Labradoodle. I almost said Marmaduke, which would have been a Great Dane. That would have been a Great Marmaduke. Dane. If you'd been That's a good one. That's cartoon dog, character right? dog is the tallest. That's yep. what I would have been doing. Here it goes. This is the finals right here, my guys. My guys and my girl. Whoever is going to dance this one correctly will be my best friend for oh. the next week. You will wear that crown for the next week. Get ready for it. 7.39 in the p.m. We're going to get going. I'm going to ask that question. What is the softest mineral in the world? What is the softest Love. mineral? In or salt. What was Tony's answer? Salt. <laughs> salt. Like, is it salt? Who said salt? Who said salt? Uh, 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 stand. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's a powder. Pepper. It's a powder. <laughs> okay. It's a powder. Uh, <laughs> what about starts with, starts with a T. Oh, uh, 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 Terizo. Terizo is, is not that good. <laughs> uh, Sam, did you say talcum? I oh my god. Congratulations. Oh, You're the winner tonight on Around the Bag. That question took exactly three minutes to get the answer. I made up a word. Terizo is not that good. Terizo? I thought you said No, even worse. I said Terizo, which is nothing. I was thinking about oh, Terizo. You said it was so we believed you. Santa, hey, you're the winner it. tonight. You get to tell everybody all about your actual best friend first. Tell us about your best friend. Oh, my actual oh, best God. friend. Oh, God. I'm going to get really, I'm going to get my husband. He's my best I, friend. Oh, fantastic. Tell us more I know. About him. It's, it's, his name is Joe. He's I also feel... from Chicago. Uh -huh. We've been together like seven years. Mm. He's really funny and smart. And I feel like he has friend. one leg longer than the other. Maybe a little bit, but I'm going to forgive him for that because he's got good teeth. Okay. He's got a Rub it in touch. down here on the lower section, okay? <laughs> good. Tony, tell us all about your best friend. Well, my best friend would be my... <laughs> it's also Joe. Uh, no, uh, you know, I'd have to say my best friend is my girlfriend, too. Uh, you know, it's weird uh, he's married. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell. Uh, yeah, we just uh, yeah we've been together a while, and I can tell her everything. We do everything. It's fun. I love it, Brent. Who is your best friend? Tell well, I'm single, it. so not nobody. I'm dating. Um, <laughs> uh, my best friend is this guy named Elliot. He's hilarious. I mean, he's just uh, he's like a catch me if you can type guy. Uh huh. Uh, we've done a lot of things. He's I can't. a counterfeiter. <laughs> He actually he did, but um, <laughs> interesting. Oh, he does fun things. He's hilarious all the time. So I would say him. Although I hate him, but you know that's a best friend. That's yeah. awesome. I love it. I love that the single guy had a male best friend, and you two, you had your spouses were your best friend, and that makes me happy. A single man should always have a best friend that is a wingman and gets a lot of fun. And you guys picked your spouses, <laughs> and that makes me happy, and that makes us all winners tonight on Around the Back. We'll be next. Will we be? We'll be next week. We'll be back <laughs> next week when somebody will take Santa's crown of being my best friend for the week. Enjoy yourselves. Be safe and wear a mask. You fucking pricks. Come